as we see markets plunge today, what's going on? What, in other words, was it President Trump speaking last night and perhaps not doing enough? Is it the fact that, as we heard from a doctor earlier in the program, we are testing only a small fraction of the population that we should be? Is it the closures? Is it, is it just everything? Is this, I yeah. mean, it, but I would ask, is this a, a vote of no confidence in President Trump's leadership on this issue? I think it did, it got real for a lot of people last night. I think whether it was Trump talking, whether it was the NBA shutting down, whether you're looking at celebrities catching it, there's a lot of news that people had to process last night that this is, in fact, like a real problem that we're going to have to deal with. And I think that's exactly what you're seeing price in. And it is really, it's a panic. People are, they're overly nervous. They have no idea when this is going to end. And you're seeing that selling pressure go in. But what I think is actually probably optimistic, like all morning we've been getting calls from clients and the nervousness is definitely setting in. We're seeing that panic, which actually I think is a good thing because people have been pretty complacent before now. Yeah, and you're finally getting to see that, which makes me think we are, we've got to be getting closer to a sign of a bottom here. Yeah. Courtney, how much of this destruction, I don't know if you can talk a specific stock, but I'm going to bring up Boeing. Yeah. Boeing is now trading. It was in 2016, Boeing was around $120 a share. We saw it shoot up dramatically. Now, I know there are other issues. Yeah. But do we see permanent destruction in some of the value of these companies as they try to get back, especially a company like Boeing, a Dow component? And that's the thing is, realistically, we haven't actually seen any of the data set in. We have not actually seen how it's going to affect the companies. We probably will see that over the next couple of quarters as it is affecting companies right now. But I think the idea is we're looking at how many quarters or how many months it's going to be affecting these different companies. We're not talking years and decades. And so I think as an investor, what you need to do is realize if I can buy things 20, 25 percent cheaper right now than I could two months ago, and if I am under the assumption that at some time here will get figured out, you just got to take advantage of those situations.